Once upon a time, in a distant and magical kingdom, there lived a young serving boy named Chauncey. Please, please, continue, Chancellor! <laughs> so there we are. The delegation from Borgo on one side, the congregation from Shmu on the other. Now the High Priestess of Shmu, as you know, considers herself to be so beautiful as to entrance all her devotees. <laughs> now has the appearance of a large drowning rodent. <laughs> she, having been bathed in wine at the hands of the Borgonian ambassador's wife. <laughs> The words that spewed forth from this saintly maiden's mouth were of sort as to make the most hardened warrior's ears to burn. <laughs> On hearing this, the ambassador, who's had too much wine to drink, springs forth, dagger in hand, onto the table to defend the honor of his betrothal. The king is cooking! The king in the middle of a kidney pie. <laughs> Your Majesty slips! Your Majesty is dagger to. The king! The boy is attacking the king! God! God! Your Majesty! You dare attack the king? No! For this! I will see you die slowly. No! Nonsense! The lad saved my life! What is your name, boy? Uh, Chauncey, sir! M my lord! Your, your Highness, sir! And where do you hail from? Well, I, I have no home, sire. I, I was raised by a kind herd of wild cows. Cows? Ah, well, <clears throat> from this day forward, you are Sir Chauncey. I dub thee Knight of the Realm and grant you vast tracts of land in the Shinto Plains, along with the use of my mighty sword, Grim Thwacker. <laughs> It served me well in defending the kingdom from the evil, insatiable, terrifying horde. Horde?